Ailey Ron here. Today I want to talk to you about why you should not think about composition when you're painting. So let's get to it. I got a great question from a follower and I want to share that one with you because if you've been struggling with composition in particular, meaning you look at your paintings and maybe maybe things work there, you find some nice spots where you like what you did, but overall something doesn't feel right, something feels a little off, I think this perspective may help with that. Uh, so here's the question I got. Just curious, Liron, how do you think about composition in a piece you want to paint? I've been reading some books on this topic and I find it laborious. If I schooled myself in its tenets, would it become second nature? So here's my take on it and why I really don't believe you should think about it when you paint. Um, not by consciously avoiding thinking about it, but in the natural way of only focusing on painting your vision. And this is why, just like many other things, I believe composition is not a skill to be learned, but more of a taste one acquires. So this is coming from the perspective of someone who has been uh, painting in watercolor for the past, I, from 20, late 2015 is when I started. And uh, I'm looking at older paintings of mine and I can definitely see how there are some elements that I like that turned out well, but some things just don't work. It looks off and it takes my eye away from the painting, it just doesn't feel right. Something does not feel right. And that is okay, that is part of the growth process. When I look at today's paintings, it's a completely different story and things just feel very natural and in the right place. And I can look at a painting and start saying and explaining why it works, but that really is more of a post-mortem analysis that is just unnecessary. And this is why I always cringe when I see videos about composition with tons of arrows drawn over, all over a, a masterpiece, like a master beautiful painting by an old master. And they explain why this works and that works and why things are built the way they are. And look at this line, how this conforms to the rule of thirds and whatever. You can analyze an existing painting all you want. Usually what probably happened is the artist did not have any of these guidelines that people sketch all over the painting. They did not have these things in mind. They just went with their gut and with the scene they wanted to present to the viewer. And here's, here's the crux of it. Just like you know what you like and what you enjoy when it comes to food, and you can try something new and immediately know, I don't like this. The same thing happens with composition. When it comes to composition, it is more about learning what you enjoy showing to the viewer, how you convey your artistic vision of that scene, whether it's an tangible vision of how I want to show that car or that person or that landscape, or it's an idea type of a thing you want to show, right? You want to convey a feeling of sadness, loneliness, happiness, whatever, a sense of, of sunlight, any of these things, whether tangible or more abstract. Now, the more you do this, and it's not a matter of years, it's not a matter of decades, it's a, matter, it's a matter of weeks and months, and it may vary from one person to another, but it's all an exploration process. It'll take as much as nature intended it to take. But with time, you will better understand the way you want to convey something to other people. And anything else you hear outside, whether it's videos explaining the concepts or books you may read on the subject, they, they tend to be these forcing of rules over existing pieces of art where the artist has not followed any of these rules. They were just focusing on creating their own art. Yes, some exceptions, yes, there are some exceptions in the title of this video. You shouldn't think about composition, maybe a little hyperbolic, but it's just like a personal style. If you think about a style, if you think about, I want this to be my style, I want that to be my style, you're missing the picture. So all of these rules, all of these lessons and tutorials that tell you this and that, this is a good compositional tool. Yes, there may be some truth to that, but you are at such a huge risk of just missing the thing that was always there naturally. Just like when you taste something, you know if you like it or you don't. You don't need an external voice to tell you, this is why this dish should be tasty for you. This is why dish, this dish works. You just taste it and you know. All of these Things are distractions from the thing that was always there, and that is how you want to convey your artistic vision. Now, it's fine if you feel like you don't know. I don't know what artistic vision I want to convey. That is fine, but that is exactly the thing that shapes and is carved out by doing it, by doing it a few times. If you 
And and to me, for example, if I see something cool outside that I want to paint, I like it, I'll take out my phone and I'll take a picture. The very way I take the picture already often has within it the composition I'm after. And the, what influences my hand to hold the phone like this and not like that? Or maybe tilt it at a bit of an angle or find a lower angle or higher angle. What is that? Is it a rule? Is it a guideline? Is it a set of criteria? No, it's not. It's a matter of feeling. And that feeling can only be felt when everything else quiets down. When all of these voices are not there and you find the thing that was always there, one way or another. Which is why I don't think composition is something that needs to be thought of, but rather it is a taste to continue honing and acquiring. And you very definitely will see a progression in how you compose your paintings and it doesn't matter what medium you use it doesn't matter even if you paint you can use black and white pencil charcoal whatever you will see the difference happen with time as long as you allow your own artistic vision to come out i hope you find that useful i know th parts of this answer are a little vague so feel free to leave a question in the comments below now you do also see here to my right there's a gallery-wide sale over in my gallery if you want to purchase a painting for someone you love or if you want to gift a painting for yourself. There is a gallery-wide Christmas sale, 15% of all orders. Add as many paintings as you want. You get 15% over the total price of them. I do appreciate if you do end up checking it out. Already had some uh, purchases from that. So thank you so, so much to the people who made a purchase. I added new paintings. So if you're going there occasionally and you see it's lirongallery.com. If you go there occasionally and you see the paintings, there are some new stuff there. So feel free to check it out. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video.